guys, it's DHD. I'm sending forward with a new video for you. Sorry, I haven't been making videos. I've been in school. Um, I wanted to make a video about portable apps. So, if you guys have a flash drive and you're always on the go and you don't have a laptop, or if you do have a laptop but you can't bring it out for some reason, let's say you're at work or at school and there's computers there, and it's not really what you're expecting. It's like, oh, it's just Internet Explorer. Who cares? It's like the least security ever. Uh, that didn't make any sense, but whatever. So, Portable Apps is a little program that's stuck inside your flash drive. Basically, it's a little mini computer with all your personal stuff and your preferences inside your flash drive. So, what I'm going to show you right now is Portable Apps. This is my flash drive now. It got renamed Portable Apps for a reason because I downloaded Portable Apps. So, I'm going to hit Portable Apps, start Portable Apps right here in my flash drive. And to your right, uh, bottom right, there's this little thing called PortableApps.com. Uh, this is my flash drive right now. This is what's inside my flash drive. So, okay, you go to a computer and it doesn't have Firefox. It doesn't have your favorite add-ons or your uh, bookmarks. So, I have my own personal Firefox right here. So, if I click that open, I already have Firefox open. Sorry. Uh, for a reason. And uh, you, you can use Firefox in your work computer or your school computer. Mozilla uh, Thunderbird, uh, you can check your email off of that. Your Gmail or whatever your favorite reader. Clamwin Portable, Cool Player, Key Pass, keep your passwords and stuff like that, some little games. Uh, Sunbird, check your calendar. Open Office, all the open office, all the important open office uh, programs. Uh, Pigeon, if you want instant message people in uh, other places that don't allow instant messaging, like school, this is good for you students. Some notes, Sudoku, if you're really bored, and Sumatra PDF Portable, if you don't have uh, Adobe Reader. So this is pretty much it for portable apps. It also contains, it organizes your uh, flash drive into different parts, such as even music, pictures, videos, documents. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can back up your stuff. Set up options. What do you want to do with it? Uh, so if you guys want this for your flash drive, have your own personal Firefox in your computer at work or at school, you're going to have to go to download at uh, portableapps.com. This is a step behind. So portableapps.com, this is the, pretty much um, the website to get it for free. Now, all you have to do is go to free, download now. What it comes with is it has different versions. There's the platform, there's just the basic platform, which is the pop up you just saw down here. This is the basic platform. But it only comes with just the, the menu and the backup. That's boring, right? So the sweet light is a step up higher. Last time it was 2 megabytes for the platform only. This has 150 megabytes for your flash drive. So it's going to jack up 150 megabytes if you're okay with that. It's recommended for 256 megabyte devices or more. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Uh, what it comes with is actually um, a few important stuff, such as uh, these Firefox all the way down to uh, not open office. It does not come with open office, I'm sorry, but Abbey Word Portable, which is a word processor. Now, the next step up is what I have right now. It's a... Uh, it's the premium suite or something, and a suite standard. It's a 400 megabyte install. This is recommended for one gig devices or higher. This pretty much comes with everything you just saw. It comes with the uh, important open office if your uh, computer at work doesn't have a word processor, which is kind of rare. Uh, but if you want your own personal uh, word processor, open office is there for you. But it does not come with Abbey Word Portable. So uh, go ahead and pick which one you want to download. I recommend this one because I want everything. So uh, this is what I got. So if you want to download this, just click download. It's going to go to a different uh, site, which is uh, SourceForge, and it's going to pop up. It's going to ask you to save the file. Just click save. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to show you guys. I'm just going to explain it. So once it's saved, what it does, you save it to your flash drive, run the executable in your flash drive, and it will pop up portable apps like right now. So this is pretty much portable apps. There's some options you can do. You can change the font, install a new app from the site high desktop icons, you can change the transparency of portable apps, check for drive errors and stuff like that, change your language if you speak Hebrew or Italian or something like that. Um, that's pretty much it. It shows you how much hard drive space is in your flash drive. I use up a lot of it because this is a 400 megabyte file. And uh, you can exit out of portable apps or you can, uh, sorry, David, <laughs> Steam, I should have turned that off. Okay. Or you can uh, eject your flash drive by clicking this and that's it uh, I ejected my flash drive this is gonna be gone a little bit it's gone right now so safe to remove hardware I can just pull it out and that's it so that's portable apps this is a good program for you people who are always on the go and uh, don't have your personal stuff out there so portableapps.com I'll leave that in the description if you can't spell portable apps and uh, that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy this information and use it to your best alright take care bye